I'm Lisa from Realizat and I'm sitting here with... Tommy Koivosaari from Amo Office. How are you? I'm fine. We've been on tour like two weeks now. Started from uh, Summer Breeze and then we have been touring with Volbeat. And uh, when the Volbeat have a day off, we have done these own shows. And we have like uh, one and a half weeks left. You are playing many gigs in Germany. Do you like the country? Yeah, of course. We started like uh, our international car career uh, back in the 90s from here. So, yeah, Germany has been very good to us always. Can you say something in Germany? Only bad words. <laughs> oh. um, today you are touring with All We Know and Baturion, also this gig on Batch Cup. Mm. Do you know the bands? No, I don't know. But I will know when they play, probably. What do you prefer, headliner show or supporting act? Um, well, of course, headliner show is uh, always nicer because uh, you have a, like your own audience there and they're into it very much. And uh, now when we have played with Volbeat, of course, the crowds are huge. Like in Copenhagen, we played to 48,000 people. But it was Volbeat audience, so it feels a little bit like mm, people are just waiting for Volbeat. So uh, headliner shows, of course. Yeah. Um, your current album is called Under the Red C Cloud. What does the cover mean with the two snakes? I have it here. Yeah, I think it's in a uh, cover. There is a from each song story. Some like something is in a cover as well. So it's like collection of the songs of the album and uh, but I think two snakes are there like presenting like uh, you cannot know if they are like fighting or hugging each other and going in circles and blah 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 but yeah mm -hmm. something like this but it's very aesthetic I think yeah the Volner is very uh, artistic guy who made the album cover You wrote the song The Skull. Um, could you say something about the development process? Uh, excuse me? The Skull, you wrote the song? Uh, what song? The Skull was from you, or not? What, what song? The Skull? Sky. Skull? Skull. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Skull, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot. my pronunciation yeah, yeah. No is so problem. bad. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking what songs. Yeah, uh, I don't know about, the, well, the lyrics has done by Pekka Kainulainen, mm -hmm. which, uh, who, who's the main lyricist to us nowadays, but the song itself just, uh, I don't know what to tell about it, it just happened like in my home studio. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it normal that songs just happen to you? Yes, that's how it goes, because when I, if I'm sitting down and trying to do something, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's like one year and you're waiting for some inspiration, but you don't have it and uh, you're just trying to do something new but it feels like pretending even to yourself so it's just sometimes it's you know like a dream some melody and then in the morning you have to think if it's your own <laughs> own idea or if is it some some else melody which comes to a dream or something like this um pekka kainain to, to say he made the lyrics um, what is the album about? Uh, you, do you have a topic or something? Um, how would you describe it? Well, he started it as uh, because uh, our like four, I think, earlier albums were based on Kalevala, and uh, we wanted uh, to him write something like which is like his own story, but still like in the same vein of like Kalevala thing, so like timeless things. So. It's his stories and we haven't, I can only see those uh, as you can see, we haven't, um, uh, he haven't explained those to us like uh, in any way, so, but yeah, it's a story about like normal feelings and normal things happening in normal people's normal life. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah. normal. Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe the album musically? Uh, I think this is uh, because of Jens, our producer, he pushed us like uh, to our best, I think, uh, in like arrangements are much readier than ever before. And also 
also our playing together is very tight I think and the whole production production is very good still very satisfied with that and yeah he was like uh, we felt like slaves <laughs> in his studio because uh, we woke up like seven o'clock and uh, were working till late late night and uh, there was one night I already went to sleep and one o'clock he went wake me up from the bed and wanted me to play one thing again so uh, <laughs> but I like that kind of uh, working because then you know there is some like uh, other person who's taking all the stress and I don't have to stress from anything I just can concentrate to my play do you have a funny backstage story from this studio time funny backstage story fuck backstage <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Backstage, Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> What? <laughs> Marina, do, can do you say? What's that? Backstage. Story. Story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's not funny in our backstage. We are just, especially nowadays, with the uh, iPods and <laughs> so. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are just lying there and watching movies and stuff. <coughs> But you are touring uh, with Insomnium often, and I know from the singer of Insomnium um, some detail. Do you know reverse strip poker? No, I don't know that. Okay. I know Neela, but I haven't heard about that. <laughs> okay. In your booklet you made it um, to name every single musician, but not the band members. Why? Hmm. You mean my favorite musicians or what? No, um, the addition musicians who yeah. made a flute or something, yeah. but the band members were not named in the booklet. Is that so? Yes. I think there is. <laughs> yes, I, I studied I it very let, well. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I can show you. If it's like that, that's a, an accident, but uh, I think it's... You have the addition musicians, yeah. but not the band members. What the? You have only the photo. Oh, hmm. that's strange. Yeah, you're right. There's no reason for that. I don't know why. Maybe it's a mistake. Or then somebody is assuming that everybody knows us, which is not yeah. true. <laughs> Maybe you're famous enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, it must be a mistake. Anyway. What is your favorite song on the album and why? Mm. Uh, sometimes favorite comes like from the song that we don't play that much live because you don't get bored of that so much but songs we play a lot of live I think Bad Blood is my favorite it's nice to play and uh, other way I think Enemy at the Gates is quite interesting and uh, I, don't know, I like all the songs actually, but yeah, those two I can name. You released a tour edition too. Um, would you say that it is um, worthwhile to buy it for fans who have this one already? Mm. Yeah. Oh, you mean the live yeah. from Hobila? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, last summer we played this Helsinki in Juhlaviikot, got like, like celebration weeks of Helsinki and a big tent. And it, it was, we had a few uh, guests there uh, like Anneke and Sakari Kukko and Pekko Käppi and uh, uh, I think it was a very special night and uh, we recorded so we wanted to put out somehow some way so uh, that was record label's idea to make it like this So um, fans should buy it too? If they have already this mm. they should buy the two edition too? It is worthwhile? Yes, I think so, yeah. Or go to Spotify, like everybody is <laughs> doing nowadays. It's there as well. Could you explain your music video Sacrifice? Um, why does he sacrifice a clock, a book, <laughs> a razor blade and a horseshoe? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? You have to ask the film director. But it's, I think it's just sacrificing things which are important in his life. Maybe it's razor blade and 
watch. And <laughs> Razor <laughs> Blade know. is a little bit scary, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine. But uh, yeah, Psst. we don't. Uh, actually, when somebody have a, an idea about music video, we are more to say like not this, not this, not this, than having our own ideas. So that's why our music videos either in the early days sucked <laughs> or uh, then the boring. But uh, I think sacrifice is not pretty okay video. Okay. 27 years amorphous, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels uh, a little bit uh, psychedelic in a way. Like when we started, we couldn't imagine to be this this long uh, uh, here and still going on. But uh, I don't know why not. It still feels right, so yeah. You are touring very much and do we all have to find time for the next album? Mm. Yeah, we will start recording it in a couple of months. And so after this tour we have like one month back home and uh, in that time we should uh, check all the new songs and stuff uh, to ready mode and uh, practice. So. Uh, Not uh, resting this year yet, but uh, I think next year will be a little bit more relaxing to us. Do we have any information about the album? Uh, not yet. We haven't checked them together at once, but uh, everybody have their ideas and uh, demos, so we have heard those, and so far sounds very good, but there's like 27 songs, I think, so have to choose. <laughs> <laughs> There are amorphous action figures. How did this happen? And how does it feel? Uh, <coughs> well, it feels funny. It happens, there was some festival and they were asking th this company if they can make they have make uh, those things from uh, football teams and some bands. And, and we said like, why not? So it, from us it took only like one photo in some strange room with like 100 car cameras. and But It's funny, of course. <laughs> we, we don't feel like that cartoon-like band to make figures, but uh, here we are. I don't know if you already have children, but would you um, buy it for them? No, because they are easily broke, so oh. they would just cry after oh. <laughs> playing this. Oh, my father is destroyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had long hair, but mm. now you don't have. Um, mm. Are you sometimes a little bit um, sad when you see the other members um, <laughs> banging on the stage? Uh, no, I have. Uh, it took a few years. I got it like 16 years ago or something. So it took a mm. few years when I was like... <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> I'm used to it. And uh, I think they're envying me because I don't have to brush it and wash it all the time. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think like that. <coughs> Do you have last words for the fans? Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for everyone who was in our shows. We have done this like over 200 gigs after this latest album, and uh, hopefully see you next tour in uh, next year or something like that. Kita Spalja. already had your 10th Len anniversary. Um, how does it feel? Excuse me? 10 years oh. amorphous. How does Ten it years. feel? Hmm? 27 years. Oh, you're f confusing me to other Tommy then, or what? <laughs> I play guitar. No, I know that okay, you play yeah, guitar yeah. and yet that you are a um, Uh, start member from I don't know where I, I wrote was, this, uh, but you made a, you made an anniversary for <gasps> ah no 
No, the headliner show, and you were support. Is it uh, possible? What? You supported um, another band who had the tents. Mm. Mm, I think so, and I read it and saw the fourth thing. So, oh, yeah. That it was a very great you tour. To edit, you yeah. Mean. Okay, maybe yeah. we cut this, and now yeah. I ask. Okay. 27 years amorphous, how does it feel? 